Hello dear watch freaks and welcome back to my channel the Uhrenbox aka the Watchbox and today we're gonna make a comparison San Martin Sumo against the Steel Dive Sumo and yeah which one is the real Sumo in the end and I think there is only one winner or is there no winner? Maybe there is no winner but let's do the comparison and get into the review. freaks let's make a quick comparison between the sun martin and the steel dive sumo homage well let's start with the dimensions they have almost the same dimensions just the steel dive is a little bit wider we have 44.5 on the sun martin and we have 44 point seven on the steel dive as you saw the reviews the lack to lack distance of the steel dive is also a little bit uh, bigger we have almost 52 at the steel dive and that makes a big difference because if you guys saw my reviews um, about this watches this gap between the case and the strap by steel dive it's really big it looks just ugly and that's what i said uh, in my review if they have just gone for shorter lugs would look much better because if you look again on this both watches the steel dive looks just more like the sumo it has the better phones used on the bezel which match the sumo image also the indexes the buttons on the six and nine on the stargate at the 12 it looks just like the sumo and the handset is also much more perfect on the steel dive we are not talking about the processing quality right we just talking about the look as a sumo homage the steel dive gets definitely more points here but not in the processing quality and again here steel dive has a much better dial it's a glossy black dial very deep black dial versus on the steel dive it's more grayish gray dark gray it's not a real black and that's really a minus point there the loom is almost the same on both watches the handset like i said on the uh, on the steel dive it's more to the sumo but the handset the quality of the hands or better in the san martin and you can see the brushing is very nice you have a second hand which is with that top notch in the end you don't see the hole where the hands are sticking as you see here the execution is much much better and you see also that like i said the hands the indexes are also much much better executed on the san martin you have applied logo there at the san martin the steel dive doesn't it's always a printed logo and name the brushing on this side profile which i have mentioned on my review the brushing by san martin is much more visible and it's just perfectly done i do like and prefer the one from san martin i hope you guys can see that because the lights getting in the way sometimes maybe i think here you can see it much better the san martin is the one with the bracelet <laughs> yeah i need to mention that because that's a big 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 point the brushing on the lux is almost the same <laughs> that's also funny yeah i i don't understand that um they have done the brushing on the lugs almost 
good St. Martin and Steel Dive, but not on the sides. I don't know why. I, I think they have saved some money and Steel Dive is going really, really cheap, but the price difference is not so big. And the biggest issue I have is still the bracelet or the not having bracelet at Steel Dive. So we have on the St. Martin a really integrated solid end link bracelet and one of the best bracelets they have produced it's the sub bracelet i know it doesn't look like a psycho sumo as i said in the review and also the bracelet doesn't look like a psycho bracelet it's more the oyster bracelet from rolex so also the sun martin legs here and there so they didn't hit the psycho homage right um it's more like mixed watch between a sumo case, a Rolex and I don't know, a turtle or something like that. What have you done, son Martin? And what have you done, Steel Dive? Get better straps, guys. Did I say that I hate the strap of Steel Dive? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I have, maybe I have not. I hate this strap. I really hate it. Uh, again, again, again. Um, like I said, this is a quick comparison, but if you look for a very, very good watch with 200 meter water resistance, a look alike, a sumo, not exactly a homage, but a look alike. Um, then you should definitely go, go for the Sun Martin because you get a better quality, a really, really nice bracelet, 475 euros, yeah? On the other hand, if you look really for a Psycho Sumo homage, then go for the Steel Dive, but remember, you pay 120, 130 euros, so it's 40 euro less, but if you want to have it perfect, you need to buy stainless steel bracelet with solid end links, maybe from Strapcode, because San Martin is not selling it separately, so you're gonna pay around 80 euros. Um, then you will be by 210 euros, so you get 40 euro more expensive as the Sun Martin and you don't get a nice handset. It's okay, but it's not good quality on the Steel Dive. You can see it on the uh, separate reviews in the macro shots. It's not good as the Sun Martin, which has a really, really nice handset. The build quality is on another level on the San Martin. That's what I wanted to say in the end. You have 200 meter diving uh, watch on both watches. I prefer none of them because here you miss the bracelet or a better strap, uh, other lugs. And on the other hand, the San Martin is just too off to be a sumo. And before I buy this, I go for an MM. 300 homage they look much better in my opinion you need to be a sumo fan to be fancy about uh, this watch i think maybe there is some sumo fans which can say which they do prefer or what they prefer on a sumo homage because I can't say it. Like I said, you have a better build quality on a Sun Martin, also on the dial and everything. It's almost a perfect dive watch, but not for my taste. Yeah. And on the other hand, the steel dive, which lags and lags and lags. And I don't know why they don't step up one level and go with stainless steel bracelets, with solid links, with a better glass to make competition to San Martin. Why they don't doing it? And when I'm asking myself that, I think maybe they all together belong to one company, guys. Could they be maybe i don't know and i don't really care to be honest both watches go to ebay they will get sold and then i will be happy with my other watches a lot of more watches are coming so stay tuned the uni dive proxima is coming the kanagawa from san martin 6105 is coming i also have ordered the mercure 6105 homage they came newly out i will compare them and everything 
So stay cute, stay healthy. We see each other on the next review. Your car guy.